Simon, Madeline, welcome. It's great to see you guys. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for inviting us. And sorry we're a bit late. Simon decided to take the scenic route. Well, a captain is only as good as his navigator. Uh-oh. Did I not give you decent directions? I know it's hard to find this place. It's a little bit off the beaten track. Your directions were perfect, Jeff. We just got a little mixed up coming off the interstate. And, of course, it will be a cold day in hell before Simon here stops and asks for directions, even in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but I told you I could wing it and find my way here. And here you both are. Well, come on in and shake off the dust. You can freshen up and I'll whip up some of my famous guacamole and a drink or two. We can relax on the porch and catch up as the sun goes down. Ah, a fiesta in the country. I can't wait. I can feel myself unwinding already. I'll say. Now there's a way to end a long drive. Ah, what a great way to kick off our weekend in the country. Yeah, I've been looking forward to some R&R &R for a long time. I've really needed to recharge the batteries. Well, I'm glad to be able to offer you a weekend getaway for a break from the rat race. That's why I love being out here so much. So, how is the big change working out for you? Have you felt much culture shock moving out to the sticks like this? No, not at all. I grew up in the country, so in a way, this feels more like home to me than the city. In fact, sometimes I felt like a fish out of water in the city. Of course, there are things I miss, but all in all, I'm really happy to be out here in the boondocks. So you're here full time now then? Well, I still have a little place in the city, but this is where I hang my hat for now. And how's the writing coming along? It's great, now. At first, I was really afraid that it wasn't going to pan out, that I'd really made a terrible mistake leaving my job and moving here to write. I had a bad case of writer's block, but then I snapped out of it, and I've actually just finished my manuscript. Hey, congratulations. Let's have a toast to that. Yeah, cheers. And what about the locals? Are you meeting nice people here? Oh, sure. When I bought the place, I didn't know anyone, of course. I think I stuck out like a sore thumb, too, because everyone knows everyone around here. People always seem to be sizing me up, but giving me the cold shoulder at the same time. And it must have been rough starting from square one when it came to a social life, too. Yeah, that was not easy. No one reached out to me except to make small talk. So how did you break the ice? If I know you, you put on a big smile and had new friends lined up at your door in no time. Actually, I had a secret weapon. A secret weapon? What's that? You're eating it. The guacamole? Hey, I told you it was famous. Around here, at least. So, you just started handing complete strangers bowls of guacamole? Gee, you'd think that would raise a few eyebrows. No, of course not. There was actually a good old-fashioned town picnic, so I brought as much of the stuff as I could make. As soon as people started tasting it, I had all sorts of welcomes and invitations to dinner. So it's true that the fastest way to someone's heart is through their stomach. And speaking of which, when's dinner? Whenever we want. We're not on the clock here. Great, because the sunset is gorgeous. I could sit here all weekend. No lights, no sirens, no honking horns. I could really get used to this. Yep, this is the life. <laughs>